Hi peeps. Sorry the lighting's a bit bright, but I've had to put, as Peter K would say, the big light on. The big light. It's been absolutely awful in Fleetwood today. Absolutely piddling it down with rain. Hang on, I must just set my oh must just set my timer, otherwise I'll rabble on and on and on. Oh this phone is absolutely doing my head in today. It really is. It's not doing anything it's supposed to. And it's doing everything it shouldn't. Does that explain it all? Yeah. Anyway, right, hello peeps. Uh, no video earlier this week because of the obvious. I mean, the wonderful funeral of the Majesty, the Queen. Whether you're a royalist or not, it was just a, a sort of a great event. We Brits do know how to put on a good show. We really do. You know, the pomp and the ceremony and the, oh, all the soldiers in the regalia and everything. It was so wonderful to watch. So out of respect to the Queen, I did not go on any lives. I did not do a video. I'm a bit dismayed that some people did. Um, everybody to their own, I suppose, but it did not. It, it rankled a bit with me. It was like disrespecting your grandma to me, you know. But anyway, everybody has their own opinion about that. But I was a little dismayed, you know, that some Brits rattling on on lives, you know, and stuff like that. No. Anyway, I have been making another, another show. And I actually got stopped in, um, and went in the cafe with my friend today. Should have been two friends, but one didn't want to come out in all the rain. She had a bit of a cold anyway. And uh, I got stopped again by somebody who wanted to know what I was crocheting, so I held it up. I did go into, oh, where's it gone now? Hang on a minute, I need to get me bag. I did go into the Naked Sheep in Cleveland, which is the wool shop. Nice name, isn't it? Naked Sheep. And as I'm going there, this guy that was the older or whatever, he said, didn't know you were that famous. I went, me? What? He said, I looked you up on YouTube after that lady recognised you last week. I said, oh, <laughs> he said, I'll be watching you from now on. So, big plug for Naked Sheep. Yeah. Would you like me gloves? They came on uh, from eBay. Rainbow gloves. Yay! They were sort of advertised as gay pride, but I'm sure you don't have to be gay to wear them. I just like colours, yeah. Anyway, while I was in the Naked Sheep, I have been having a bit of a naughty buying spree. Very naughty. Don't tell the family. I've got to hide it from you. I came across, well, last week when I went in for the yellow, for the blanket that I've finished. But I can't show you because it's in the carriage. But I finished it. There's a picture on Facebook if you're absolutely interested. I found this Sprinkles Pop Chunky by Signet. Now, you know I like Signet because I like their boho. It's chunky. Yeah, and the gorgeous, gorgeous colours. I only bought one of each because I'm making headbands for this, you know, the craft fair we're having. That's called Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti. Um, this one has got the pinks in it. And this one is called Rainbow Sherbet. Which is a good name because it's got like the sherbetty pink, hasn't it? Sherbet, rainbow sherbet. This one has got sort of autumnal colours in it and it's called Red Velvet. They're all the same. They're all Sprinkles Pop, by the way, if you want to find out. There they go, aren't it? Lovely colours. Beautiful colours. And the last one, but not least, is uh, Confetti. It's called Confetti. There you go. Beautiful colours. Confetti. If you're living in Fleetwood, she has an offer on at the moment. Not Fleetwood, if you're living in Cleveland, sorry, at the moment. Well, if you're living in Fleetwood, you could travel down, wouldn't you? But if you're living in Cleveland, she has an offer at the moment. And it was <coughs> five of the 100 gram balls for £10. So, <laughs> mm, 
Yeah, you know, if we were the mummy, a soon party, don't they? You know what I mean? Anyway, I've gone a bit bonkers with this lady. Oh, God, what's she called? I can't remember. Brain feed. Ask me again and I'll tell you. She's on eBay anyway. And she sells those very fine cakes, which I've been using to make them shawls. Yeah? So this one, I don't think it has a name. Oh, this one is Rainbow Storm. And it looks as though it's tiny, Japanese, whatever. It's all written in, oh yeah. Sorry folks, it's all written in foreign. So I can't tell you much about it, except it looks fine and it's a very pretty colour. And it will be going to make a shot. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? Because there's a lot to come. It's, this is the Regent Bogan Mirage. Regent Bogan Mirage. I'll go back a bit, then you can see it a bit better. One of these will make a shawl. It's absolutely fantastic. It's got uh, 800 metres, I think, she says, without her glasses on. Put glasses on to have a look. It's 200 grams and it's got 800 metres on it. See, while I'm here, I've actually got my glasses. It's when I do the the videos in the conservatory that I don't. Oh, my dog is fast asleep on the chair. Trixie has fallen in love with the log burner. She absolutely adores it. Anyway, they don't have colours on them. Um, they just have numbers. I'm sure you're not interested. If you really, really want to know, I will tell you the numbers. But it's difficult to find them anyway. You need to just go on eBay and have a look if you're in the UK. Whether you'll get them in the US, I do not know. This one is got grey and blue and maroon and sort of a, a fawn colour, really. Fawny colour. Again, but this one is called Regen Bowen Beauty. They all look exactly the same to me, but why they're called different names, I have no idea. But this one's called Beauty. This one is <coughs> Beauty again. Can you see the colours? It's actually washing out the colours a bit. They're all shades of sort of greeny blues, peacocks, with a pale blue around the outside that tends to look a bit grey on the camera but it's actually a sort of a blue colour. I'm throwing them on the floor I'm not going to be able to move soon. Right this one is a Mirage. Um, this one's it reminds me of a bullseye. <laughs> you know if you're going to fire at a target don't it remind you of a bullseye. Yeah that's that one. This one again is Mirage. This one's got the beiges in it. And sort of a, a grey, really. Two shades of grey. Like a purpley grey in the middle. I'm trying to get you to see the colours. It's very difficult. Electric light is not the best, but I was out all day, so I couldn't do it before. This one is um, Jacquard. got the sort of blue around the outside and kind of like a brown and a beige colour, um, a mustardy lemon in the middle and a pink. This one is five balls. It's green on the outside, green peacock, sort of a bluey grey colour and a Kind of a navy blue in the middle. Yeah. There's five of those, but it's very fine. It's um, the Mirage again. A little fine if you're making a cardigan or a garment or something else. A little fine. Right, we've got another one of the Mirage. That's purple, pink, pinks, and sort of a turquoise green in the centre. I can't remember how many I bought because I've lost count. Too many. I'm going to have to hide them. As you know, supposed to be on a yarn band because I'm actually going to yarn there on Sunday. 
sorry, beg your pardon. That one's all shades of mustards and beiges, browns. Judging from the response of the finer shorts, people seem to like them. They do take longer to make, but they do seem to like the finer shawls because you can scrunch them up, can't you, and make them into a neck warmer. You don't have to wear them like a big thick shawl, yeah. Um, this one's got purple on the outside and it's sort of got a mustard, um, a turquoise and a brownie colour and a pale sort of turquoise green in the centre. And last but not least, we have this one, which is grey and uh, sort of a purpley colour, peacock green and a different purple in the middle. They're all going to look very unusual when they're made up, aren't they, yeah? Anyway, in view of all of the heating bills that are rising in the UK, you probably heard about them. Maybe you got the similar happening in the US. I don't really know. But I bought a cuddly. If you want to know what a cuddly is, it's something that you wear in the house if you're cold. It's got long sleeves and it's plush but it's got a little a really furry lining. You can get cheaper versions I believe but I thought no if I'm going to buy one I'll get the real McCoy I'll get something that's going to be warm. Yeah it's called a cuddly. You can see it. K-U double oh I've got it upside down that's why you can't read it. K-U double D-L-Y cuddly. Yeah and it's a great big sort of sweatshirt, really, I suppose you might call it. I suppose you will sweat in it, won't you? It's huge, so it'll fit everybody under the sun. Except some very big people that live in Fleetwood. But we won't go into that. It's huge, and it's got a hood. So, as we, we've got the log burner now, I do go out a lot, as you know. I'm not a homebody anymore. So I do go out and um, it doesn't see much point in lighting the log burner when I'm out. Yeah. You know, I mean, the family can light the log burner if they're in. I don't mind about that. But, uh, oh, I found another bag. Excuse me. Ooh. Another bag. Another bag. These are mostly blues. They've got blues and greens. This again is uh, Boyce Jacquard. That one's got the tans in it and the blues in it. All the mustards in it. Only two. Oh boy, am I going to be busy. Well, seeing as the craft show's on November the 19th, I don't think very much I'm going to have them done by then. But you never know. My friend Sarah's actually going to do a couple. She did volunteer. I didn't press camera. And that's the last one. The lady who bought the, the brownie sort of coloured one, she is interested maybe later when she saves up in buying the blue one. <laughs> but at the moment she's just got the brown one. I think that's what I've got. Oh, I did buy a new, a new necklace for those of you who like my necklaces. Ooh, that way. It's in the turquoise. Why do I go the wrong way with it? There you go. It's quite hefty, actually. Quite heavy. Feels like pebbles, you know, when you clink them together. Feels like pebbles. Yeah. So, that's about it I've got to say really, except it was, I felt like sort of royalty, you know, going in the wool shop in Cleveland. When this guy says to me, I looked you up and you're quite famous, I thought, oh, oh, oh. well it's best to be famous and infamous I suppose, isn't it, but it's still nice. 
I don't know whether I'll, anybody will recognise me when I go to um, Yarndale on Sunday, but I should be there on my little red mobility scooter, a fold-up one. So if you know me and you see me, come and say hello. Yeah. I'll try not to forget your name so I can actually mention you. <laughs> I am taking my camera, but as you know, my camera is having its minutes, or its moments, I should say. So I think I need to save up and, you know, sell a few of these shawls, for example, yeah, and save up and get myself a new camera because this is a bit... Mm -hmm. I have had it quite some time. It's been a good camera. I didn't pay a tremendous lot for it. And it has been a good camera. But as you know, it's got its issues. It only does videos up to 30 minutes and then it just cuts off. And also it has a habit of, I'm making a video, and when I come to look at it, it hasn't videoed anything at all. So I am having that issue. Yeah. Um, as you know, I do sing in a group. That's why I had to wear yellow and wear the yellow blanket. I sing in a group called Harmony and Health. We're not a choir. We don't sing because we're brilliant at singing. We sing for the enjoyment that we get out of it. Anyway, we actually got a cheque on Tuesday from Asda, Walmart in the US, for £800, which was very nice, because our sound system that we use, take around with us like a, I don't know what you call them, a, not a boom box, but you know what I mean, they're great big things, but they work. You must charge them up at home and then they must store a charge, and then you can bring them out and you don't have to have them plugged in. So we, we needed a new one of those because that was a bit iffy. So we bought a new one of those with some of the money that we got. Which was all, you know, what it's meant to do. It's meant to improve, whatever. We do do a lot for charity, by the way. We don't keep all the money we get for ourselves. But that was something that we did need and it was meant to be for us and not for a charity. So... You know, any other money we collect, it does go to charity, yeah. So, something to do with mental health and well-being and all that. But it's all very in at the minute, isn't it? Every time you turn anything on, it's all mental health and well-being, yeah. What have I been doing? Well, I didn't go to Nick Club on Monday for obvious reasons. It was the wonderful Queen's funeral, which I sat and watched. I must admit, you know, shed a few tears. When they brought the corgis out and the Queen's pony, Emma, with her headscarf draped over it, oh, I just lost it completely then, yeah. Very sad, very, very sad. I know people are, some people are not royalists, but it's not so much that I'm an ardent royalist, but she just stands for something that's been there almost all my life, yeah. It's like an institution, isn't it? It's like something that you look up to, something that's apart and they do bring a heck of a lot of tourism and tourism money to this country whether you like them or you don't um, <clears throat> I mean if you could see how many people were in London you know to watch it all and they came from all over the world it's not just the UK people they came from everywhere you know they were interviewing people in the you know, in the streets and where, they were coming from all over the place. Just to see what was going on, which I thought was absolutely lovely, you know. Shows respect. But then there was one Russian reporter who said it would have been a good time to have bombed the UK while everybody was watching the funeral. And I thought, how? I couldn't believe that she even thought that way. You know, I couldn't believe that anybody would be so evil as to want to cause maximum damage, you know, to a nation. But like my son says, not all Russians think the same. That's just one woman's opinion. But I still thought it was awful. And awful that they actually reported it, you know. Leave her stuck in wherever she is, the dungeons of a TV studio. Leave her in there, yeah. But I mean, apart from... The weather's not been too bad, actually, this week, apart from today. Let's just say they made up for the rest of the week. The heavens just opened. I was soaked right through my coat, 
everything right through to my underwear, which I'm sure you don't want to hear about, but one fact too many maybe. But I was soaked right through to my underwear. Even the bag is wet through, you know, the bag I had hanging on the handlebars, that's soaking wet because it's fabric. It's a brilliant bag actually, I got it from um, Moonbeams and Mayhem. I bought it many, many moons ago and it's a, a brilliant, brilliant bag, I love them. I do love Moonbeams and Mayhem. They're not the cheapest um, shop on the internet but I have bought quite a few things from them. Not so much clothes because they don't always do my size. As you know, I'm a little bit of a plus lady and they tend to do things up to about size 18, which wouldn't it? I mean, they did send me a questionnaire actually not long ago saying what, what did I think and what did I think they should sell. Well, I said, well, I'm not arguing what you sell. I love the things you sell, but I just wish you'd sell them in a bigger size. You know, like boho people are not all thin. <laughs> there are bigger boho people. But, anyway, that's by the by. I ordered a fan for on top of the, um, the log burner. It's not a plug-in fan, it's not going to use any electric. It goes round by the heat from the log fire and it's wafting the heat up the stairs and up everywhere. So hopefully, you know, this log burner will warm the rest of the house besides just me. The doggies absolutely love it. It's there. Uh, I don't know whether you can be able to see them because I don't know what you can see when I turn the camera around. That's my sofa. And, oh, go, go up and down, Janet. Do what you're supposed to do. Why do I go the wrong way with this camera? There they are. Can you see them? The yellow thing you can see is actually Rosie's collar because she's flat out asleep. But Trixie is just sitting there looking around the world. Trixie loves the fire. She was like lay on her back last night with her legs in the air like bring it on, bring it on. The warmer the better. I don't care, don't care. I'm something. <laughs> the family have just nicked out actually, which is why I'm, oh, why do I go the wrong way with this camera? Will somebody please tell me? Put an arrow on it saying, Janet, you dummy, it goes that way, not this way. The family have gone out to Blackpool, um, even in the rain. <laughs> Because my daughter-in-law's cousin is over on holiday, so they decided that, if, being as I wasn't going out tonight, I should have been going singing in, at the church choir thing. I should have been going there, but I just did not feel like getting wet through the second time in, in a day. So I said, yeah, I'll stay with the dogs. So, because they're only here, I, I don't think they're here another day. They're not here tomorrow. Um, so today was like the only day they could go and see. My daughter and my cousin. Go for a meal, I think, and a drink here. Yeah. So, I think that's all I've got to tell you. When I come off the video, there's always like a million things I have to tell you. The yellow blanket, I did finish because I crocheted all the way through the Queen's funeral. Yeah. Uh, I was quite pleased actually because 10 bowls of chunky at the Naked Sheep would have cost me. 18 pounds, it was 180 bob with no offers on it. And the double knit that I got, um, I doubled it up. So 10 100 gram balls cost me 11 pounds. Saving of 7 pounds for a blanket, winner, winner, you know, that's me. So, anyway, I will be, you know, going to put some things on. Um, I've still not worked. I've still not worked out TikTok yet. I'm not very good with technology, so TikTok, you know. Hey ho! But I did sell the other two shawls through Facebook and Instagram, so maybe that will be the way forward. And I've still got my web page, and I haven't put anything on yet. For our craft fair, I'm doing it with Sarah, my friend. We're just going to concentrate on smaller things, you know, hats. Children's hats, baby hats, headbands, wrist warmers. And we're going to try a couple of these finer shawls. 
um, Sarah started while she's making um, the shawl and I'm halfway through one, well a third of the way through one because as it gets wider it takes you longer doesn't it and then as you can see I've got about 75 million <laughs> these to use which will not all get done before November the 19th I know I'm quick but I'm not that quick yeah. anyway I think that's all I've got to say to you really um, I have watched a couple of videos I watched um, Little Drops of Wonderful, Alice, she went to the Southern um, Knitting Show, the same one that Denise Dear, you know, Dear Designs went to. And um, actually on, on the video there was a picture of the wool that my friend from Knit Club dies, yeah. She doesn't have a web page so I can't tell you where to go and look at it. But she's called Coastal, Coastal something or the Coastal, whatever. But she's on that video from Alison. I think it's about 27 minutes in or 29 minutes in. Coastal something she's called, yeah. I'm going to look again because actually it went past me and I didn't know, didn't know it was hers because I didn't know what she was called, yeah. So I'm going to look at that. But she won't be at um, the Yarndale. She's not doing the Yarndale. She's done loads of others but she's not done the Yarndale. So I'm hoping that my camera works, my scooter works. It's not raining hard. Although I did wear my sou'wester today. Very good it was, yeah. Turned up at the front, at the back, and the rain was running down. Yeah. I felt like a fisherman. <laughs> oh, I tell you, there was hardly anybody on the seafront, but some intrepid people were actually walking dogs. And I thought, you're so brave. Well, the dogs seemed quite happy. They must be used to being walked in torrential rain, you know. I wasn't, I had my glasses on, my gangster granny glasses on, I had my glasses on, it was to keep the rain out of my eyes and it, they actually got side pieces so, you know, they were my sons actually, he got, he won them in a raffle for a motorbike club, but he has to have prescription lenses when he's riding his bike, so he gave them to me very kindly and he donated them to me. And he also donated one of those, you know, those bandana things that go around. So I do look like a gangster granny when I'm going down the seafront. <laughs> I don't care as long as I don't get wet. I mean, I've got um, a cape that goes over me and goes over the... I think I said to you before, I'm like a galleon in full sail. It's like flapping along as I'm going along. And the hood's that big. It's got a perspex visor and a perspex visor that goes down. But it just keeps falling over my face. I can't see where I'm going. Yeah. My friend Sarah said that you... Actually, my son mentioned it again today. That you can um, get those like things that you step into and zip up. That would be better then, actually, because then I could get off my scooter and go in a shop still wearing it. Whereas you have to sort of climb out of you your hoodie thing and you know your cape but this oh my scooter's got wet through my seat was wet through everything was wet through even the bag on the back that's supposed to be waterproof my towel and everything was wet through so I'm gonna to have to start putting everything in a big plastic bin bag you know to keep it dry why is it these so-called waterproof things you buy are showerproof they're not waterproof at all Anyway, let me look how many minutes I've got. Don't tell me I didn't set it off. Oh, I've got 46 seconds. <laughs> I had better say goodbye, I haven't told before I get cut off in the prime. So I shall hopefully, well, I will be on the live on Saturday, but it will be a shortened version because I need to get in bed to get up early to catch the coach. Um, I've got to be at past eight, I think, up the roadway to catch the coach, yeah. So I need to get up early, so it'll be a shortened version of the live on Saturday. And hopefully I will take videos of the um, Yarndale while I'm there. Hopefully nothing will go wrong with my camera. Wish me luck as you wave me goodbye. And there's my cue. Goodbye. Bye now.